okay then uh let's move on and study one more application of this negative charge polarity at ortho position what we do is we add a base slightly basic media very slightly and co2 gas in the first step and the next step we add proton now suppose you don't know the name of the reaction i'm initially i'm not going to tell you the name of the reaction because that's not important what's important is to understand what would be happening here when you add this basic co2 on a phenol what can happen one of your thing is acid base reaction this is base this is acid the ph of phenol is 10 so it's not very acidic it's weakly acidic but nevertheless it is sufficiently acidic to react with a base strong base like NaOH so there will be a acid base reaction that's the first thing that you should think of and uh, you'll have phenoxide ion like this after acid base reaction is over now what next when the base has done its job and then base is not going to do anything to this phenoxide ion there's there are electrons in the ring there's a negative charge on this oxygen and the base also has a negative charge now the job of the base is done the base will not approach this electron rich negatively charged species phenoxide ion now this negatively charged electron rich thing can be approached by someone who is electron deficient and who is electron deficient this carbon this poor carbon two oxygens are pulling electrons from the carbon and making this carbon electron deficient so someone have to come and attack this carbon that's the need of the time now this oxygen is not going to attack as we have discussed ab nauseum before that if i draw the resonating structure that resonating structure will look like this and then this negative charge will go to para position as well and again back at ortho and again back in oxygen there will be five resonating structures and the charges will be on the ring on three of them ortho para and again ortho now we have discussed this before when there are charges at two positions charge most of the charge density reside at the position where charge is most stable but when it comes to reaction when the reaction starts from the end which is less stable where the charge is less stable so charge will reside most of the time in the orbital of oxygen but when it comes to reaction when phenoxide ion have to go for reaction the reaction will occur from this carbon end because whatever charge density is on carbon that is unstable that's why the reaction will occur from this end of carbon now let's see now this end of carbon is going to react with the co2 that we have in the system this is going to attack this carbon this bond is going to break like this and what you're going to have you're going to have something like this i'm so sorry something like this fine carbon carbon bond this bond breaks charge goes on oxygen this is what you have but the thing is if reactant is aromatic product got to be aromatic there cannot be any compromise with this nothing will happen if you break aromaticity because aromaticity is the biggest factor that brings about stability in organic chemistry the whole effort is to bring about stability and how can you bring stability by breaking aromaticity aromaticity here has to be regenerated and by now you must be experienced enough how you are going to regenerate aromaticity this carbon has a partial positive charge but we have to bring a negative charge at this carbon how someone anyone th there is lots of base here that will come and abstract this hydrogen when this hydrogen is abstracted a negative charge develops on this carbon and this negative charge goes into the orbital of this carbon to make a bond and when this carbon makes a bond with this carbon it breaks the bond with oxygen like this you have a bond at this position now the other two bond remains as it is this is what you have now you add h plus from outside and you will have something whose name you must be knowing in case you don't know then make sure 
that you know it now and you will remember it as long as you live. This is salicylic acid. So the product of this re reaction would be salicylic acid. Simple. The name of the reaction, of course, they call it as Colby's reaction. That's not important. What's important is looking at phenol and looking at this reagent, you must look at the product in your mind and able to write them on paper. That's more important. But nevertheless, this reaction is Colby's reaction. Fine? Okay. So, the question is, how would you prepare benzoic acid from benzene? The question is, how would you prepare benzoic acid from benzene? Now, there are, there would be 101 ways to prepare it. So you should think of at least a few of them. And uh, if you try and incorporate the last reaction we have done, then that will be the most smartest way that we can work this out. Because from phenol, we know how we can get salicylic acid from Colby's reaction. Now from salicylic acid, we know how we can get benzoic acid by reducing OH. And one reaction we have studied that reduces this OH and this phenyl ring, this phenol into benzene, that removes away OH. If you remove away OH, you will get benzoic acid from salicylic acid. And the job is done by zinc dust. So this we know. So somehow if you can get to phenol from benzene, then your job would be done. So, and this is a standard method of preparation of phenol from benzene. You use any one of them. You use, uh, uh, you use, you use, uh, you, use uh, you first to prepare cumin out of benzene. And that you know how to prepare. You prepare cumin. From cumin, how to prepare alcohol, this is a standard method and uh, you must be knowing this. You add first oxygen and then you hydrolyze it. You will get phenol from phenol, Colby's reaction, salicylic acid from salicylic acid, benzoic acid. There could be easier methods, there could be easier methods involving less number of steps, uh, but uh, you don't have to bother for number of steps. But you should be able to think of other reactions using reactions of other chapters. And that's easy. One of which I will quickly like to remind you would be, shall I rub this off? If you carry out halogenation on this benzene ring, if you add Cl2, Al, Cl3, you will get chlorobenzene. If you make a Grignard reagent out of it, adding Mg in ethereal solution, you will get a Grignard reagent like this. If you make this Grignard reagent to react with CO2, you'll get benzoate ion like this and you protonate this, you'll get benzoic acid. There could be other methods using Sandmeyer reaction and uh, uh, which comes in the chapter of amine. So uh, per perhaps you're studying phenol, you haven't studied amine, so let's not go into it. But this is something we have studied before when we studied Grignard reagent. Fine. All right. There are other methods. You or you can. What you can do is you 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 alkyl go for alkylation. Prepare a alkyl benzene, and alkyl benzene on oxidation with KMnO4 will give you directly benzoic acid. Fine. And you can think of other uh, other 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 reactions as well.